Hi, my name's Johnny Miller and I'm in northern Honduras in Central America at the moment and I've just been talking to a, to a local man about this young fella right here. It's an iguana that he's just caught. Now, out here, iguanas are great food, they're a bit of a delicacy and he's caught this at a river nearby. And what I did is I asked him if he wouldn't mind if I actually took it off him and freed it. He knows that I'm a biologist working in the area and that's why I'm, I'm doing a reptile inventory for, uh, for an organisation nearby. And so he gladly gave it to me. He also tried to, to sell me a larger one, but of course buying that would not be ideal, it wouldn't be ethical, because it might start a precedent for people capturing uh, lizards and other animals in order to be able to sell them to well-meaning but ill-informed uh, tourists or conservationists. So iguanas are considered a delicacy out here and eating them is a part of the culture and of course we must respect that. I certainly don't berate or, or judge anyone eating an iguana or other reptile as, as part of their culture. Uh, however, there is an unfortunate process of how some iguanas are restrained out here. It's not the way everyone does it, but unfortunately some people do this rather painful and some may think quite cruel practice of biting off the toenails and then using the ligaments to actually tie them together which restrains the limbs at the side of the body. Now uh, this guy as you can see I've already uh, liberated his front arms and I'm going to release his hind limbs in just a second when he's ready to be freed. Uh, it's not going to be a pleasant experience for him I'm going to have to cut through the ligament uh, but hopefully he's going to understand. Okay, so now the iguana's legs are all untied, uh, he took it very well indeed, and I've put him on this log by the side of a river with plenty of trees around, plenty of habitat for him to make himself a, a new home, and hopefully he's going to be okay after his ordeal. At the moment he's probably very weak and no doubt in quite a lot of shock after his ordeal, and it's going to take a while I think for him to, to muster the confidence to actually make a break for it and slink off somewhere where he can hopefully recuperate from his wounds. So I will keep an eye on him for a little bit and see if he uh, makes a move, otherwise I'll give him some distance for him to move in his own time and uh, I'll wish him the very best of luck.